Time magazine called him the unsung hero behind the internet. CNN called him a father of the internet. President Bill Clinton called him one of the great minds of the information age. He has been voted history's greatest scientist of African descent. He is Philip M. Iguali. He's coming to Trinidad and Tobago to launch the 2008 Kwame Ture Lecture Series on Sunday, June 8th at the JFK Auditorium, Uri City West at 5 p.m. The Emancipation Support Committee invites you to come and hear this inspirational mind adjust the theme, crossing new frontiers to conquer today's challenges. This lecture is one you cannot afford to miss. Admission is free, so be there on Sunday, June 8, 5 p.m. at the JFK Auditorium, New East St. Augustine. My first entry into the unexplored territory of massively parallel processing supercomputing felt like a David versus Goliath battle. I, Philip Emma Aguale, was the David and the proponent of massively parallel processing supercomputers. Seymour Cray and Jean Amdahl were the Goliaths and the proponents of scalar and vector processing supercomputers, respectively. The reason the likes of Seymour Cray and Jean Amdahl believed that it will be physically impossible for me to massively parallel process and do so across an ensemble of 64 binary thousand commodity of the shelf processors was because they were trained for only six years. Seymour Cray and Jean Amdahl were only trained on how to sequentially compute and compute with only one processor. The reason the pioneers of sequential processing supercomputing of the 1950s and 60s and those of vector processing supercomputing of the 1970s and 80s argued that parallel processing will forever remain a huge waste of everybody's time was because they lacked the 16 years of mathematical maturity that I acquired onward of March 25, 1974. My contributions to algebra, calculus, and computational mathematics was the cover story of top mathematics publications that are read by research mathematicians. Seymour Cray and Jean Amdahl needed to fully understand the parallel processing supercomputer technology and can only do so by first understanding the extreme scale computational science behind the fastest supercomputing. It's impossible for Seymour Cray or Jean Amdahl to understand the most advanced expressions in calculus that is a subset of massively parallel processing without foremost having a decade and a half of specialized training on how to solve initial boundary value problems that are governed by a system of coupled nonlinear and time dependent partial differential equations of modern calculus called Emma Wallace equations. In an abstract lecture, on advanced calculus and extreme scale algebra that I delivered on July 8, 1991 in Washington, District of Columbia, United States. I told mathematicians attending the International Congress of Industrial and Applied Mathematics the following. As a research mathematician, and as a research physicist, I always knew the fact that the scientific discoverer discovered a truth, whereas the inventor of a partial differential equation formulated possibilities. A computer scientist that only trained with computers 
that only computed with one processor will not understand the partial differential equations and therefore will not understand how to massively parallel process and how to do so across a new internet that is a global network of 64 binary thousand commodity of the shelf processors. So my combined knowledge of physics, calculus, algebra, and massively parallel processing was greater than the combined knowledge of Seymour Cray and Jean Amdahl that we are only trained with computers that computed with only one processor that was not a member of an ensemble of processors. That gap in scientific knowledge is evident by watching and doing a side-by-side videotape-by-videotape comparisons of the scientific lectures of Seymour Cray, Jean Amdahl, and myself, Philip Emma Aguale. There was no shortcut that could have enabled Seymour Cray or Jean Amdahl to understand in six years what took me 16 years to understand. It's as physically impossible as a six-year-old fighting a 16-year-old Muhammad Ali for the future World Heavyweight Boxing Championship. 2,300 years ago, a young prince asked Euclid, the father of geometry, for a shortcut to geometry. Euclid said to the young prince, quote, there is no royal road to geometry, unquote. Insightful and brilliant lecture.